A festival calendar, a start-to-finish list of all the biblical holidays, is the central feature of Parshat Emor, this week's Torah portion. Beginning with Pesach, because the Bible marks time from the Exodus, Emor takes us through each festival, giving us the start date, the end date, and some of the key ritual observances of the holiday. At the same time, we know that the Torah also describes each holiday in its own context. And so, for example, in Parshat Bo, in the moment when the Israelites leave Egypt in the book of Exodus, the Torah also gives us the beginning and end dates of Passover and tells us all of the ritual observances associated with the holiday. So where the Torah ordinarily tries to be efficient or economic with its language to not repeat things over much, we have to understand then what's the purpose of this restatement of all of the holidays in Parshat Emor when they're all described in other places as well. The point of this festival calendar is not so much the details of the holidays, as I said we get that in other places, but to put the holidays in their broader context. To help us understand not the holidays so much, but how the holidays as a system reveal for us the purpose of human existence. And so we start with Pesach, the story of a movement from slavery to liberation. Then we have Shavuot, when we move from wandering in the wilderness to dwelling in our homeland and the bringing of the first fruits. From there we get the recognition of God's mastery over all things on Rosh Hashanah and our acceptance of responsibility for our own actions on Yom Kippur. And finally, Sukkot, which offers us the opportunity, dwelling in booths, to reflect on where we've come from and where we have left to go. In that sense, then, the festival calendar in Parshat Emor offers us the long view, the sense that the system of festivals that we have is exactly that, a system, interconnected, linked together, and pointing us in a direction that guides our lives. Shabbat Shalom.